Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you a little later than I would normally want to on a Monday, but it is still Money Monday and I want to uh, stop by and just share with you. First of all, I'm extremely excited. It has been a long journey, but we finally launched uh, the Legacy Wealth Generational Wealth Course Online. Um, We've been doing the pre-promos, pre-releases, pushing. Uh, this is a co comprehensively uh, detailed course, uh, roughly around 18 months. It's self-paced. Uh, I am definitely uh, highly accessible doing this course because I want to make sure that I can answer questions. And the questions I can answer connect you with people who specialize in areas that can answer the questions. This course is designed to take you to a place it is the equivalent if you were taking a master's in any particular field this would be the equivalent to a coursework uh, research uh, providing massive content uh, putting you inside of the heads of the top performers top investors uh, top moguls in finance uh, this isn't Rick just sharing some stuff he learned along the way this is Rick's uh, labor of love so to speak uh this is what i've done for years now interviewing uh some of the top minds in finance researching some of the top minds reading tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of work to put this course together uh so that the average person could have access to things that they don't even know exist that are right before them right in front of them uh the course launched this morning uh the link is in the description box also uh if you don't have this is going to be my theme song uh until we get on board man if you don't have at least two streams of income that hedge against your primary source of income you need to be operating online to create these uh ancillary streams of income passive streams of income Streams of income that operate around your thing. And even in, and you can also uh, approach your passion, the thing you want to do, the dream you have. All of that can be, uh, the pursuit can begin online. You can create the movement, the energy, uh, the connectivity necessary, access to the proper target audience, access to the proper resources, the ability to automate, all of that. And I put that in a course called the seven day online business launch it's nowhere near uh the comprehensive nature of uh the legacy wealth generational course generational wealth course and it's not meant to be it's meant to be the step-by-step -step process of getting you up and online and making money in seven days none of the stuff that i'm going to offer you or talk about is a get rich quick scheme none of it is magic it requires work, it requires patience, it requires resilience, it requires consistency, but I promise you it works. It's how I fed my family, it's how I paid my bills, it's how I've stayed on top of what I'm trying to do, and it's how it's what's propelling me towards my ultimate vision and goal uh, as far as my financial goals for me and my family. Uh, I'm on a journey myself, and I can tell you that when the economy collapsed in the early 2000s well not the, too early but 2006 2007 2008 when things start fall apart it left me in a bad way um and i had to rebuild and it's nothing as breathtaking as to sit up and look at what you've worked years to build crumble and then tell yourself here we go we got to do it again but the beautiful thing about this is the fact that you know if I've done it once, I can do it again. You have experience, you have the confidence, you have uh, the understanding of how to find what you don't know. And the internet just simply created an ability to leverage what I was already good at, as well as provide insight and the ability to find the things that I wasn't. And I created this formula and the, uh, the, the uh, ability for you to do that is the same. I show you step by step from everything from writing a business plan, doing uh, market research, creating an online presence, whether it's a landing page, whether it's 
uh, a, a website, whether it's a social media profile, you can do literally monetize that. Uh, whatever it is, I, I show you how to get there in seven days or less. So that's that. Today I want to talk. I want to talk about something, and I'm gonna do it in the form of a question. What's your plan? Uh, one of the things that is going to be a theme when, for those who take the Legacy Wealth uh, generational course, it's going to be a theme. What's your plan? What do you have? And, and here's the thing. Your destiny is the culmination of your vision, the vision you have for your life in finance, the vision you have for your life in business, the vision you have for your life in, 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 in your personal endeavors. Your destiny is the combination of that, and you are constantly moving towards this destination uh, that is representation is the representation of your destiny. But there has to be a plan to get you there, and it doesn't mean that you don't adjust the plan. It doesn't mean that you don't tweak it. That there aren't strategic adjustments. It simply meant simply means that trying to get somewhere without having any clue of how you're going to get there. Also, what's your plan in the time of turbulence? I've been talking about uh, the volatility, uh, volatility of the dollar. Now we're experiencing some volatility in the market, especially in the area of financial institutes because of what happened with the Silicon Valley Bank. And there are going to be people primed and in position to take advantage of the panic. Whatever you do, if you're already in, in, in the stock market and you invest, don't panic. Start to do your research. Research. Start to understand what's going on. Don't panic. Um, panic is uh, what creates opportunity for those who are wise in the market. And, and all of this stuff is taught in the Legacy Wealth course. Uh, I remember when I was first learning about the stock market. Another rule. Learn the rules of the game before you start to play. So when I was studying the the, the uh, stock market and I was trying to gain an understanding of how things work. One of the things that always used to baffle me was when stock prices would start to drop drastically, people would panic and sell. And my question was always, who's the dumbass on the other end of this transaction buying this stock that's crashing? Well, it turns out the dumbass is actually the smart ass. He's called the crisis investor. He waits on stock prices to drop because he understands the market and he knows what companies are going to recover, what companies are likely to recover. Nobody can guarantee anything, but what companies are likely to recover, what companies history show that they are capable of withstanding economic downturn, which is a part of any economy anywhere around the world. There are going to be ebbs and flows, ups and downs. But what I found is first, that the people on the other side of the transactions were normally the people winning. Every now and then somebody dumped some stock that just was going to end up being trash. But many times people are dumping stocks that are still great stocks. The value is just fluctuating. I heard Warren Buffett say it this way. And there's going to be a lot of content from Warren Buffett, some lectures from Warren Buffett, all that stuff in this course, uh, along with so many others. But I heard him say, that the problem with most people who try to get into the stock market is they're looking at the cost and the value of the stock. And because you look at the cost and the value of the stock, you see something go down. You say, okay, the value is going down. And he says, you have to look at the stock as being a part of a company that you own a company. So you should be more aware. He say, he says when he buys stock, he, looks at it as a purchase of a company. If he's not buying the whole company, then he looks at stock as being the purchase of a part of a company. So he's more concerned with how the company's moving, how the company's operating, who's at the head of the company, uh, what's the culture in the company, because that's going to give you a great insight into how the company's going to fare during dark times. Everything goes up and down. Gold goes up and down. Houses go up and down. Everything that you're ever going to invest in is going to uh, vacillate in value. So then what do you do? You have to be willing to sit there and say, okay, I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to get in and I'm going to hold. Something else that I learned in the same thing is you don't actually lose until you complete the transaction of selling off. So what am I saying? If I buy... Uh, a block of stock 
whether it's one share or a hundred at a hundred dollars and the value of the stock starts to go down and so my total investment has dwindled to say fifty dollars let's make it one share so it's the, sh the value of the, the share has gone from a hundred dollars to fifty dollars and i go oh wow i've lost fifty dollars actually the value in the stock has dropped 50. I haven't lost anything because I haven't transacted it in any way. Where I lose is when I panic and I sell because at the moment I sell, I lock in the price at where it's at. So if it drops to 50 and I sell at 50, I've lost 50. But if I hold and it drops all the way down to 30, but it recovers, even if it doesn't, it recovers back to 90. I still and right now sitting under a value of $10 of what I actually invested and what it's doing, it's protecting my investment. So uh, that's the other thing. It's not simply about growing. It's also about protecting. If I have my money in something that's going to protect it because cash is the worst way to hold your wealth. I keep saying that and now we're starting to see it. Cash is the worst way to hold your wealth. And um that is the thing that i want you to focus on that's the thing that i want you to get out of this today is to have a plan to sit down if you don't know where to start get with someone who does contact someone who does there's a lot of information out there uh if you're ready you can start the course if you're not ready find someone that can help you because you need to know where you're going you need to know how to get there you need to understand all of these different things um, I think that's going to be it today. Again, uh, check the link, get, go in the description box and either sign up for the course. If you can get this course, get it. Uh, it's worth every penny and then some, uh, based on the way it's set up, it's value it is extremely high based on what you're going to pay for it. If you go to some college or some school and get an abbreviated, uh, emaciated version of it. This is finance on steroids. Some of the greatest minds to ever do it uh, have in some way contributed to this. And I am so thankful and grateful. Uh, it has been a labor of love. It has been challenging in so many different ways. It has tapped me in ways I can't even explain, but I tell you what, I got it done. It's a part of my legacy now. And I'm excited about it. So on that note, I am going to get ready to get out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. As I always say, I live my life on full so that when I leave this place, I die on E. I'm challenging you to do the same. On that note, have a great day.